find rest. Nti, awanu wai menga yepi. Nti, mwe abako ye na basi towe yedua. Mwe yedi na ba umuza. So the first thing is when we have burdens and worries come to Jesus. Nti, eshinde chiso chiso kila dada. Nti, abo a a a basi towe yedua ena abati de. Now yesterday. Yesterday I talked about the prayer of grace. Do you remember? Can you, can, you, can you name a prayer of grace for me? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone remember? Now prayer of grace is saying what God is giving us how he blesses us. So can you give me one example? Are you trying to say anyone? You try, is he trying to say? Listen to him. See, yeah. see what? What is that again? Is this, are you speaking English? Good. Is yes. Powerful. God is powerful. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Now, God is powerful. It's good. But it's better to be more personal. God is powerful. He can help me with my problems. Now, it's more to me. So, Okay, now say it with me. Say it with him. God loves me and cares about me. Everyone say it. God is with me all the time. God is giving me strength. God is giving me joy and freedom. God forgives all my sins. God accepts me how I am. God is laying his head upon me to bless me. God is laying his head upon me. Now this prayer of grace will give us strength. I hope every day when you wake up and for many times a day you keep saying and believing it's like God is here in front of me. Now notice my change my tone of voice. God is in front of me and blessing me. God is laying his hand upon me. God is happy when I pray to him. And God cares about me. And then we respond with a prayer of worship. I love Jesus. I hold on to Jesus. I need Jesus. I want Jesus. I like Jesus. Now notice how I say, I like Jesus. Now when you are like that, then you're coming to Jesus and you find rest. So I'm showing I'm showing people how to come to God. How to have faith in God. Let me, let me tell you my definition of faith. Now, some people say faith is like this. Some people say faith is like this. You have to believe, believe very hard, believe, believe. But I will say it like this. When God promised, I trust in Him. When God, when God works, I relax. Now, ask Him to say it with you. When God promised, I trust in Him. Say it. Ndikati agambi, nito gambi wote, eh? Ndikati agambi wote, eh? 
Mukididizam. When God works, I relax. So when I pray for people, I relax. God will work. Now, so I'm now talking about how we can be free. First, come to God, come to God with faith in His grace and His promises. God will work according to his promises. He promised to be with me and he will always be with me. He promised to give me joy and I can experience joy. Like yesterday, many people experience joy. So that way, when I come to God, I have strength and joy and freedom. And then verse 29, you talk about the second step. There Jesus said, take my yoke upon me and learn from me and then you'll find rest in your soul. <laughs> now the first step is just come to God. Lord, help me. Thank you. You're loving me. The first step is just coming to God for help. And a second step is to start to take up responsibilities. That we take the yoke of Jesus. The yoke is the yoke is like the yoke on the the shoulder of the cow to pull a plow or pull a cart. So Jesus is saying, take my yoke, that means to serve with me. To serve God together with me. When you have the life of Jesus, the joy of Jesus, and then you want to serve people, bless people, and also learn from Jesus. So it's not just coming to Jesus, but to learn his way of thinking his life. Learn the gentleness and the humbleness of Jesus. Learn the faith of Jesus. And learn how Jesus trusts in God. So when you read the Gospels and see how Jesus talks, you learn how, you know, his heart. Then we have the faith like Jesus. And have the relaxation like Jesus. And that way, Hallelujah. Amen. And that way, Jesus said, "Then you find rest in your soul." Now you compare verse 28 and 29. The two times he mentioned rest. In verse 28, it says, 
Come to me and you'll find rest. Just the first and in verse 29, talk about take the yoke of Jesus and learn from Jesus. And then you'll find rest in your soul. Rest means that rest means it is not your work. It's Jesus working. So I just do my part to pray for people and to teach people and Jesus will change them. So I can rest and relax. I don't have to worry about the result. I don't have to carry the burden of ministry. Oh, so I don't have to say it's hard to change people. Because I'll find people changed by God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me ask you, after you hear me yesterday and today, do you like Jesus more? How many of you like Jesus more? Hallelujah. Amen. Let me ask you. How many of you like to serve Jesus more? How many you like to serve Jesus more? Praise the Lord. And then how many of you like to Pray to Jesus and love Jesus more. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you find more relaxed? How many of you are more relaxed? Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. And you say, Oh, yes, raise your hand up. Yes, 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 in the morning, yes, at the noon time, yes, 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 when the sun goes down, yes, I'm more relaxed. Raise your hand. I'm more relaxed. I'm more relaxed. Now wait. I'm more relaxed. I'm more joyful. I'm more happy. I can enjoy God. I can enjoy life. I like Jesus more. Hallelujah. Life is more beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus. Okay. Now, so what I'm saying is there are two degrees of rest in Jesus. The first is when we come to Jesus and ask for help. And the second is take the yoke of Jesus learn from the life of Jesus and you'll find rest in your soul it's a deeper rest I know God is in control I know God is powerful I know God cares about me. I know God is going to use me. And then he'll raise up my life higher and higher. So I can relax more. Hallelujah. 
Now notice I'm quoting the Bible verse to explain it. I'm helping to people to understand the Bible verse more clearly. And how to apply it to your life. And how you like the word of God more. So I hope you go home and read these verses again. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30. Okay, now just now I talk about the fourth point how to have this peace and joy and rest in Jesus. And then the fifth point is challenge. Now you have heard what I said this morning. You have heard what I said this morning. How in Jesus there's rest and peace and joy. Let me ask you, do you want to live like that? Do you want to live like that? Do you? Yes. Do you want to put down your burdens? Do you want to put down your burdens? Yes. Do you want to continue carrying your burdens? Do you want to continue carrying your burdens? Everyone here has the right to live a joyful, peaceful, restful life in Jesus. Jesus has prepared for you a joyful and peaceful and a, a, a free life. A life to be pleasing to God and to people. A life to bless many people. To live out the nature of God. To live like Jesus. Is it very difficult? No. Let me ask you. You stand up right now. Now, I'll conclude this. Now, close your eyes. Relax in Jesus. And then you, de and then you declare, Jesus is with me now. So tell me to stay with you. Jesus is with me now. Yes, I didn't Now you can raise up your hand. Jesus is with me now. Yes, I Jesus is with me now. Yes, I didn't Jesus is blessing me now. Jesus is giving me peace and joy and love. Yes, I'm part of the Mokisa, no father, and the son. I can enjoy God's peace and love and joy. Sobora, Oku Gavana, Oku Gavana, Oku Gavana, Nesanu. I can enjoy God all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to live in burden anymore. I can live a peaceful and joyful life. I can come to Jesus every day and find rest. I can learn from, I can take the yoke of Jesus and learn from Jesus. God is in control. I relax in him. 
Yesu, everyone sing. Would you mean I am a Yesu? Yesu, 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 Hallelujah. this question. Do you want to put your burdens of the family down in the hand of God? Yes. Do you think you can do a better job or Jesus can do a better job? Who can do a better job? Is it you or Jesus? Yes. So can you put down all your burdens in his hand? Now raise your hand to Jesus. Raise your hand to Jesus. Raise your hand to Jesus. I put my burdens in your hands. Okay, tell them the same. I put all my worries in the hands of Jesus. I put the burdens I put the burdens of ministry in the hands of God. I put the I don't have to worry anymore. When I trust in God more, I have more joy. I have more strength. I have better results of ministry. Hallelujah. 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 more relaxed now? Yes. Do you have the, can you have the peace and the joy of the world every day? Ha 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 everyone. Now let me ask you, do you like to live like this? Do you want to carry your burdens or let Jesus carry your burdens? 
Mwagala kubira mwe gugu jamwe oba mwagala Yesu atware mwe gugu jamwe. You know Jesus makes me be able to learn how to talk about Jesus more joyfully. Yesu ze yanyambo kusobola okumwogera ko no ngandi mu mirembe. When I teach like this, people are touched by God more, right? You like God more, right? Amen. So that way, I have less burden. It's not my burden. Do you want to serve God like that? Do you want to serve God like that? And also in my family, I'm more relaxed. I'm more, I'm more peaceful. And I love my family members. And they're, they're, they're changed by God more. God is in my life. God is in my ministry. So do you want to live like that? Do you want to live like that? Yeah. Now, I hope you remember this. This is not a message today, just a one-time message. This is a message for your life. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the message again. To, to the points, remember? So what I did was, first I have the introduction to let people know how painful it is with burdens. To raise the interest of people. And, and how we can have the joy of the Lord and free in the Lord, freedom in the Lord. And then the first point in the message is the problem of people, how many people are burdened. Uh, how many people have worries? Uh, and life is very difficult. And then I talk about God's nature. He has a lot of things to do. Many people did not obey him. But God is not burdened. God is not burdened. And God continues to be joyful. And then number three, why do people, why can't people have this joy of the Lord? And then number four is how people can have the joy and the freedom of the Lord. And then number five, the challenge to people to encourage them to have this lifestyle of living in the joy of the Lord. Amen. Amen.